hello guys welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys we are going to fix the windows 10 and 11 is freezing or the crashes okay so first of all we need to analyze why we are facing this issue so first of all the graphic card is responsible for the display as well as the windows file okay so we need to fix this issue from the starting so first we will repair our windows first and the hard drive so go to cmd go to windows search bar type as cmd run it as administrator click on yes button when the prompt opens now you need to type here sfc space slash scan now sfc stands for system file checker which will scan all the corruption inside your windows related to the windows files now we need to wait and wait for the hundred percent so once it is completed okay i'm minimizing this once this is done again go to cmd run as administrator again now we need to hit this command chkdsk space the drive letter where the windows is installed now in my case it is the c drive okay this is the c drive window logo you can see here so i'm typing as c colon space slash f space slash r okay f and r will repair the corruption as well as the bad sector now hit enter once you hit enter you will see the windows like this like you can see cannot because the volume is in use in a other process we did we do like to schedule this volume to be checked next time when the system restarts now we need to press here y okay and once you press here y once you restart your system the test check will be run and your issue will be fixed but make sure you have enough time this will take more time but this is very powerful command to repair all the corruption inside your hard drive as well as the ssd okay so these are the two steps you can troubleshoot this issue in the second method i can say the third method go to device manager and we will update our graphic card driver here open the device manager and graphic card is one of the most component to run all the windows okay so go to display driver here okay and whatever driver you have just right click connect with the network before applying these methods update driver now search automatically for driver click on that and now wait and it will install automatically driver and you can also right click on the driver go to its properties okay and look for the driver date here you can see my driver is latest so you can go to browser google browser and go to manufacturer website like if you are using the hp laptop you can type here hp driver download i am using hp laptop go to first link and if you are using the lenovo so you can type here lenovo driver download and hit enter once you hit enter go to drivers and software and it will automatically now you can change to any other language you will get the options like this now you need to put your sn number here in some cases if the you need to install the automatic detector you need to install in the lenovo and then click on manual driver once you go to manual driver go to the graphic card of this option now you can see intel graphic card for windows 10 and 11 so the date is here you can similarly use in the windows as well here hp laptop just you need to put here the sn key here let me go to the cmd again and we need to type the command to get the serial number 
I will also give this command into my description box like this. Now just put here the SN key here and click on submit. Now once you click on submit, choose operating system, the version. And after that click on submit. Now go to all drivers and look for display driver, driver audio display, driver display. Now we can see Intel driver. Okay. This is the Intel high definition graphic driver. So download it and install it. Your issue will be fixed after that. Okay. Once the driver is installed, just run it and restart your system and your issue will be fixed. If still not fixed, you can also check for update. Make sure you are using the latest windows here. Check for updates. Sometimes older windows can cause this issue as well. So you need to make sure that you are getting the tick. You are up to date. Let me show you. I like if you are still getting the check for update option, you can also check for update and once done, restart your system and your issue should fix. So hopefully if your issue is fixed then well and good. If still not fixed, I recommend you to reset your PC or reinstall the fresh window on your laptop or the PC. So thank you. Thanks for watching how to fix that.